Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. You would think that after posting a 50 minute review of Warhammer Quest Cursed City on Monday this week, that I wouldn't really have anything left to say about the game. But there are just a few more subjects that I want to bring up. And I know I said that I was a little bit reluctant to do too much content on Cursed City while it is a contentious release and a lot of people missed out on it. But that's actually one of the things I wanted to talk about. And in fact, that is what I'm going to talk about in the video today. In my video tomorrow, I'm going to go over my house rules. And then I think there will be a break from Cursed City while I cover a few other subjects. At some point, I am sure I will do some painting for Cursed City. But I have some other painting projects that I want to get through first. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Anyway, that's all by the by. What I wanted to talk about briefly today is the availability of the game. Of course, we all know by now that Curse City sold out online on the day of release within just a few minutes. And while Games Workshop were originally saying this was going to be a range product that was going to be around for a long time, they have now backpedaled somewhat and they have said it was a limited item that they don't plan on reprinting. At the time of making this video, we still haven't had any official word that they might be reconsidering that in the future. It's all speculation at this point. And of course, Games Workshop, for one reason or another, are reluctant or unable to give us any more information to work on. So while I may personally think it's possible that they may do another reprint later on when the dust settles and whatever issues they are facing are resolved, we have to, at this moment, take them on face value and assume that Curse City isn't getting a reprint and the copies that exist in the world today are the only copies there will be. So what does that mean for people who actually want to try the game? I think at this point it's safe to assume that most online stores are completely sold out. Of course Games Workshop Direct is sold out, that's not likely to change anytime soon. And in the UK at least, I'm not aware of any online stores that have copies. And I would assume that extends to the High Street Warhammer stores. I'm not expecting many of those stores to have any copies of this game around. However, I am still hearing from people that their local game stores have copies. So for those people who do want to get a copy of this game, I do think it's probably worth phoning up your local game stores, just double checking, seeing if they might have one on the shelf that didn't sell. You could even chance your arm and ring your local Warhammer store, although I wouldn't hold your breath there. Failing that, there is of course eBay. And of course there will be people on eBay who managed to get a copy of Warhammer Quest Curse City just to flip it on eBay, and they're selling it for an inflated price still sealed. But eBay does also have some alternatives. One is Curse City is a little bit marmitey, and one thing to look out for are copies of the game that have been opened, assembled, played and then put on eBay to sell. And that's because I expect there were some people who purchased Cursed City expecting a fantasy version of Blackstone Fortress, which was a well-loved game. But Cursed City plays very differently. And also, if you watched my review, you will know that the opening scenario is a very poor introduction to the game, and some people may not have got beyond that point. So you may find copies on eBay that have been opened and played, but are being sold for a more reasonable price than those sealed copies. But the most cost effective way to get a copy of Cursed City is to look for copies that have been opened and have been stripped of the miniatures. There are a lot of Games Workshop customers who are only interested in the miniatures and Cursed City has some really, really nice undead miniatures that were very appealing to a lot of people. So those people have purchased the game, removed the miniatures, and then they are selling just the game components, the boards, the cards, the tokens, and the dice. And I've seen those sets selling for anything from 20 to 40 pounds. If you are only interested in playing the game, buying a copy without the miniatures is a good option. Of course, without miniatures, you are going to need to find some kind of alternative. One choice is to proxy in miniatures from another game. That's not the easiest thing to do. Cursed City has some quite unusual characters and creatures in it. You might have trouble finding some vampire ogres, for example. But if you don't mind rough approximations, you could play the game that way. But there is another option. And I almost feel like Games Workshop knew that many copies of the game would be sold without the miniatures, because let's have a quick look at the rulebook. Here we are on page 8 and 9 of the rules book, 
and you can see there is a page featuring every hero model from the game. And then on the next page we have Radukar, his lieutenants, and the Varkos Bloodborne. What is interesting about this, and what makes me think that Games Workshop have kind of thrown non-miniatures gamers a bone here, they've reproduced these colour images at a one-to-one -one scale. Look, here's our Vargskar, and if we place him over his image, dun da 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 pretty much the same size. And that's the same for every image on this page. Furthermore, if we turn the page to page 10 and 11, they have reproduced an image for every single miniature. All 10 Deadwalkers, all 10 of the Ulfen Watch, the Kosagi, the Corpse Rats, even the Objects of Interest. And if we flip back a couple of pages, on page 7 they even have the little Dargoyles and Norbone Strays. It's every single piece of plastic from the box reproduced in full colour. If you don't care about miniatures and you have a colour photocopier, there is absolutely no reason why you can't pick up a copy of this game, photocopy those few pages, paste the images onto board or chipboard or plywood or whatever you want, and have a fully functioning game with standees instead of miniatures. As an added bonus, you won't need to worry about painting anything. And of course, I appreciate that's not ideal. For people who really want those lovely miniatures, this is not a solution. But for gamers who are only interested in trying out this game for themselves, this is certainly an option. And one that isn't going to take a huge amount of effort. So that's that. I do hope that at some point in the future we will see a reissue of the core set for Cursed City. Maybe if an expansion comes out down the line they might do a reprint then. But if not, there are still ways to play the game at the moment and I am still hearing about copies that are available for sale if you hunt them down, if you move quickly. I would love to be able to share better news, but these are the options we have at the moment. I hope someone has found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you've really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.